Yeah, we used to fish a lot at Lake Minnetonka, Howard's Point, although once in a while at Shady Oak and some other places. In uh, May, when uh, water was just fresh, cold, as ice was gone, we used to fish for bullheads. And a lot of people don't think of eating bullheads, but we used to fish for them. We used either corn, a piece of corn on a hook, or a little piece of beef on a hook. And uh, then the bullheads, you skin them because they don't have scales. You just skin them. But there's hardly any bones in them. And when you uh, fried them, they really were good. Kind of reminded me of a poor man's lobster. And uh, so we used to eat bullheads until mid-June when the water got warm. They would get wormy. Anyway, we'd go out and fish mainly for sunfish and crappies. And if you were lucky, to catch a northern or something like that. But we'd fish uh, out in Howard's Bay. My dad had a small outboard motor, which with gasoline ration, I think we got three gallons a year for that motor to uh, go out and, and fish. And so a lot of times we caught, I forget what the limits were, but we caught a tremendous amount of, of uh, sunfish and crappies. And so you'd have uh, fish meals for quite a while. So that uh, lengthened your, uh, you know, got rid of the, your need for uh, running short on ration beef and pork. And you talked about your mother wanting to go to work. Oh yes, she always wanted to go because I was an only child, and not much to do for her after school, and except the ladies all played bridge. That was about it. And uh, no, my father, no, we don't want our wives working. That that makes us look bad, you know. Well, then, you know, the the ration board, ration board came in effect. And they asked her if she would work there, and they thought that my dad said, "Yes, that's a bit, that's a good uh, good reason to be going to work." So she got a job, and I think she found something forever after that until she died. Yeah. Well, one of the I went to a couple of different churches, but I my parents then started going to Faith Presbyterian, which was called Bohemian Presbyterian way back, and they had services in Czech at say about 9 o'clock and at 11 o'clock it was in English. So I used to go to the Czech services with my dad and mom and grandparents sometimes. And it was, I learned because I, they didn't speak English, I learned a lot of Czech during those days. And so I uh, had to, uh, it wasn't too hard to totally understand a lot of what was being talked about. Oh yeah, we did. We always made our own sauerkraut. We had uh, usually uh, probably 10 gallon red wing crocks. And we have, I still have the uh, cabbage slicer. It's much like those, a big version of those banjos that you slice now. And you take the cabbage, cut it in half, and put it in this little box and slide. And uh, then you, uh, when you slice the cabbage, my job was to pound it down with a wooden, kind of like a, a block about this diameter on a handle. Because my dad said if we get the juice that we got out of it, poured it out, was what caused it to be bitter. So that, mm -hmm. then we put small onions in it, we put uh, salt, and we put dill, as I remember, and caraway seed and then uh, enough water to just cover it and my mother had a took a dinner plate put it over the top with a rock on it so it just stayed and we would just wait a couple of weeks until it all fermented then she'd put it in uh, quart jars but a lot of times it was fun just to eat it right out of there raw fresh delicious we also made sausages and uh, other things. My mother canned a lot of vegetables and fruits in those days.